Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine with a three-card spread. This is a spread for air signs, all air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, who is spying on you towards the end of the month of October. We are reaching our last week of October. Who is spying on air signs? Okay, so I appreciate all of the cards. I have the Ace of Wands, <clears throat> the Three of Wands in the reverse, and the Hangman. All right, let's get started with the first one, the Ace of Wands. Now, remember, this is in the past position because I read from past, present to future. So this is in the past position. We have the Ace of Wands. I am seeing a hand coming out from the universe that's offering you some type of love, emotion, relationship. Um, I'm seeing Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Perhaps you were involved with an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius that offered you this relationship and um, everything was going great you had something to look forward to maybe you also got offered a new job um, new conditions were coming into your life I was seeing a, a renewed some kind of renewed energy that you were in whether it be relationship job I um, also saw a baby coming uh, maybe a baby was on the way or you had a baby um, I'm seeing a birth of some kind that you were in a new relationship, which was a birth of some kind, a new job. I keep hearing new job, new birth. Um, you are moving in, in a new direction in your life. You are moving in a positive direction. Okay. But then something happened. Okay. So what happened? So something happened. And then we have the three of wands in the reverse. When it's in the upright position, usually... Um, it's a good card. This man has already worked on something and that he's proud of. So that's what the two wands behind him represent. And then he has one that he's holding on to. This is the card of uh, advice through partnership. Um, and he's waiting on these ships to come in. So you were waiting on your ships to come in with this relationship here, this job, this friendship, whatever you had here. You were waiting to reap the goodness out of it so that's why this man is standing here looking out towards his future and um and he's passionate about it because he's wearing red so he's very passionate about it but it's in the reverse okay so that means that something didn't come through maybe there was too much time being wasted too much attention giving to too much attention was being given to the to the to the cost of the big details when you should have been paying more attention to the little details. If that makes any sense to anybody, um, it can mean that you or the other person were too preoccupied and had too many, let's say, irons on the stove and didn't pay attention to the relationship like they should have, so it fell through. Some of you might have been, um, yeah, you might have been, with the Aries Leo Sagittarius and you might have um this person or you weren't paying attention to the details of the relationship you had too many things going in your life which caused the relationship to fall apart which caused it to fail and now that Mercury retrograde is here it's pushing it on out because it's not working okay um also, someone is, I'm seeing someone that is prideful or overconfident, and that's why things didn't go right, if that makes sense to some of you. Um, when you're overconfident, you send your ships out like he did, but then they come back with nothing, okay? Um, leaving you high and dry is what I'm hearing. So whoever was being overconfident in this relationship or too prideful to, you know, pay attention to the other person's feelings or whatever, then that's why the relationship didn't work out, the person left, or it just failed. Um, yeah, this person wasn't paying the attention to you that you deserve, is what I'm seeing. Um, you wanted more, but the person wasn't giving it to you emotionally, or mentally wasn't giving you that, that attention that you wanted. So it, you weren't feeling, you know, like you needed like you were getting what you deserve okay i keep hearing that over and over so let's get to the next card because this one is the one that tells the major ending story which is the hangman okay so 
Yeah, so you see he's hanging on a cross and he's upside down. And again, he's wearing red, so this comes with passion. There's three colors here, yellow, blue, and red. And the yellow represents, you know, the future, moving towards the future. So when you get the hangman in the upright position, that means that you've already gone through this traumatic event. So now you're moving on, you're moving forward, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm seeing the person that's spying on you is that Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. He, this person is still waiting to see what you're going to do. Um, if you're going to call them back, if you're going to contact them. I mean, they're still stuck in that situation while you're probably just moving on because you got the hangman. The hangman has an attitude of whatever will come will come. And I'm accepting the new direction for my higher good. That is what the message of the hangman is. Um, yeah, so red means passion, the blue are his deep, deep thoughts, you know, and the yellow is, you know, the future, the vitality of a spirit, uh, wanting to move forward. And that's what exactly what you're doing. Okay. You're moving forward as, uh, uh, Mercury retrograde pushes you out of the old relationship is bringing in new things. So uh, heaven has a lot of things to offer you now that you're ready for it. A lot of new things are coming in. You know, you've sacrificed in your past, but you're letting go. And it's okay to let go. The hangman is here to tell you that it's okay to let go. You're giving up the old and you're and coming in with the new. And that's okay. Um, you, you've come to a point where you want to leave the past behind and move on with the future. Uh, yeah, th that's a good thing. Because you can't remain in the past forever. Sometimes it's okay to think about it. And, you know, sometimes we cry about it, but we can't remain there because the past is the past. It's gone. We can't never bring it back, nor can we change the past, but we can always move towards the future. And if you know what's going to happen ahead of time in the future, sometimes you can change that. That's why it's good to watch tarot and read astrology. They come hand in hand because if you know a few things about what's coming, you can actually change it. Okay, you can actually avoid stuff that's going to happen, bad stuff. So it's actually a good thing to watch it. So you are moving into a new phase, which is good. You're going to have new new friendships coming in, new um, relationships. Uh, if you're already in a relationship that you haven't gotten out of, you might, you might, and you've been working on it, then it's going to be renewed. It's going to be fresh. You're going to start getting along with uh, people like your friends, family, husband, or whatever. Um, I am seeing new job offers for you. Um, yeah, so it's actually a good thing to get the hangman. When you get that, you're in a good position for your future. Um, again, who's spying on you? This is who's spying on you. Reading, I am seeing the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius that you might have broke up with. And um, he's still waiting to see if you're going to call him, contact him, or whatever. I wouldn't if I was you, but that's your decision. I would just move on from here because with the hangman, you got a whole bunch of new things coming in. Okay, so that is your quick reading for all air signs who's spying on you for the last week of October. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can follow the directions down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as I'm getting, trying to get monetized so I can do live free readings. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.